It has become one of the most popular segments of the summer on Wednesday nights. A look back at stories from the past. I've ridden a bull at the Hampton Coliseum, played nine ball against a lady, and surfed with former champion Rory Russell. Well, tonight we go back to 1982 when a young Don Slater joins our former news anchor Bob Grip and a young turn sportscaster off the TV. as we go turn fishing off the TV you off the coast of Virginia Beach. <laughs> okay. Do you believe we were ever so young? Uh, well, I'm surprised you've kept this. I it? have. Time to open. Uh, I haven't seen this in a long time. The Sports Wrap Vault. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. Mid-afternoon for most die-hard fishermen, but for those of us that work the late night shift here at NBC Tidewater, it's kind of early. But this isn't just an ordinary day, because any time you get a chance to go blue fishing off of the Virginia Beach coast, it's definitely a special occasion. Especially if you've never been before, as in the case of my colleagues Bob Grip and Don Slater. We were welcomed by Norfolk lawyer Peter Decker aboard his famous 50-foot gannet. This is the boat President Carter took on his much-publicized Tidewater fishing expedition in 1979. We left Rudy Inlet and sped north down the Virginia Beach coastline, as the Gannet does virtually every day from May through September. How popular is blue fishing in Tidewater? We have the best fishing in the entire world, and I've fished all over the world, so I can tell you that. Uh, our mainstay are the bluefish. Pound for pound, that's the fightingest fish you'll ever... Well, you ought to know that. That's the fightingest fish you're ever going to fight. We got our first taste along the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Don Slater got the first bite. He reeled it in, and we were well on our way. All right. Then Bob Grip got the second one. Another whopper. He fought and he fought, but the fish was no match for this award-winning newsman. Close. <laughs> then Mike Springer even pulled one in. And I'm telling you, the Blues had better be glad that this fellow works weekends as Mike had no trouble getting his catch. But yours truly wasn't having much luck. Seven big ones got away. That's right, seven. So they must have been sharks, but even our mate Mark Thompson couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. Maybe we were just in the wrong place, but Captain Mike Romeo says there's no better spot in the world. That bridge tunnel is one of the best artificial reefs in the world right here. Plenty of bottom fish as well as, uh, you know, the bluefish and stuff. But blue fishing is still the prime sport here in Tidewater? That's our bread and butter this time of year. Finally, the gannet came through. The sports guy got his first fish, and President Carter would have been proud. Look at that fish! 